Hey everyone, this is Zori here with my first episode of my first ever Let's Play here on Zori Loves Gaming on YouTube. Uh, I've been a huge Pokemon fan ever since I was like six years old. Um, back in 1998, whenever this franchise was first being released. Um, and I've followed Pokemon ever since then, even through the down years when it wasn't so cool to be a Poke fan. Um, I always stuck with the franchise. Uh, my love and passion for it has carried me to this moment here. Um, I absolutely love this game. I love Generation 1. Um, and that goes with like the trading cards, the anime, um, the Game Boy games, Red, Blue, and Yellow. This game as well. I can't wait to um, I can't wait to share this with you guys. Um, I'm super excited, and I think it's going to be something special here. Um, so let me know uh, what you guys think of the Let's Play in the series in the comments below as we go through this. Um, so we're going to start a new game here. Um, so we have these different options here. We have the Battle Now, where you can just um, jump into a battle right away with some of the more basic Pokemon. Um, we have the gallery, which you can take photos of your Pokemon. Um, you've got different options here to change the sound, uh, start a new game, and then event battle. If you have two players, um, you can go into that. But for the meat and potatoes of what we're going to be covering here today, and in the Let's Play going forward, is Pokemon Stadium. Uh, so we have all these different modes here, like the Gym Leader Castle, the Pokemon Lab, Victory Palace, Kids Club, Free Battle, Game Boy Tower, which you can play your Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow cartridge on your TV, which is a nice touch. Um, so let me know if you guys want to see like individual sort of segments detailing these in the comments below. Uh, we will be doing the Gym Leader Castle in full. Uh, but for right now, where I would like to start is with the stadium mode here. So basically you have four different tournaments here for those of you who aren't familiar. Uh, you have the Poke Cup, the Prime Cup, the Petite Cup, and then the Pika Cup. And each one has different level restrictions as well as the types of Pokemon uh, that are available for, for uh, each tournament. And I think we're going to start by level. Uh, we'll do the Pika Cup first since it's um, it's the lowest level. Then we'll do Petite Cup. We'll do Poke Cup. And then we'll do the Prime Cup Blast. Um, and my plan is to try to go through uh, at least the entirety of round one with rentals only. Because I believe that can be done and I've done it before. Um, for round two... I'm going to try to go through it as much with rentals only as possible, and if it gets too difficult, uh, then we may bring some of um, our Game Boy Pokemon uh, from Pokemon Yellow uh, into the game. And I also have Red and Blue, but I still need to play those games and level some Pokemon up. Um, also, let me know if you'd like to see a playthrough where I just play with Pokemon from uh, the yellow, red, and blue cartridges as well. Uh, but as we get into this, let's choose our team. I think we'll go with Raichu here because we got Thunder Wave that will need to slow things down. Uh, let's see. Nidoqueen, that looks like a good team. Got Bubble Beam and Earthquake and Double Kick. Um, balanced stats as well. That'll do wonders for us in the long run. Um, Kadabra with Psychic and Seismic Toss. Enough said there. Uh, let's see who else we want to bring. Uh, maybe Gengar with Confuse Ray and Nightshade. That's not too bad. Mega Drain with a 48 Special Mega Drain can do a lot of damage for us. Let's see what our last two are going to be. It 
Ooh, Lapras with Bubble Beam and Ice Beam, that's not too bad. Uh, looks like a solid water type. Or, another one I've been thinking about. Possibly Poliwhirl. Uh, I think we'll try Poliwhirl for right now. Because it's got better speed. Uh, special's not too good. Um, but I think Poliwhirl might do in a pinch. And then... Let's see who our last team member is going to be. Um, gosh, I just don't like Ember too much. Ember. I don't like Fire Blast too much either. Uh, I think we'll take our shot with Arcanine, because Dig with 100 power and Gen 1 with the 42 attack stat is not too bad. So without further ado... We'll register our team, and we'll get this party started. Alright, Battle 1. So we got the Bug Boy for Battle 1. Got a level 16 Nid Arena. Uh, see, it looks like we got all Poison and Bug types, so we'll start with Kadabra. We'll go for Arcanine to back that up. And then last but not least, we'll go for Nidoking. King. Let's go. It's underway, Pokemon Tournament Pikachu. This is a tournament for passionate, young, up and coming Pokemon. All right, here we go. Here's the first move. Start with Psychic. Oh, we got a special drop. Stun Spore. Uh oh, they're gonna slow me down. But he misses. Perfect. And then we can go for Seismic Toss, since Seismic Toss does damage equal to the Pokemon's level that's using it. Perfect. Also, guys, let me know if the oh, let me know um, if the game the level sound-wise versus my time. audio is too loud or too quiet, and I can adjust those on the fly as well. Um, we can definitely make those adjustments if need be as we go for another psychic. Like All right, get a one shot there on Ekans. Ekany. There's a distinct difference in the number of remaining Pokemon. All right, who's the last one gonna be? Paris. Oh, it's Paris. The remaining okay. Pokemon count is three to So we'll one. go for another Psychic. The battle has become one side. Savage attack. Heavy death. Oh, one shot. Yes. And that'll advance us past round one. Now here's another uh, thing that I want to touch on here. For those of you who are not familiar. So anytime you get through a match without losing Pokemon, you get what's called a continue. So basically what that means is you have that many opportunities to cash in in the event that you lose a match. Um, and you can just pick up where you leave off. But be careful, because if you run out of continues and you lose, you have to start all the way back at the beginning again. Which is no fun. No bueno. I've done that. I can't tell you how many times. As we face the lad here. And what I like to do when I choose my three Pokemon is I like to look for common weaknesses. Um, so we've got three that are weak to Kadabra. So we could start with that, um, and then 
We've got three that are weak to Raichu, so we can go with that. And then last but not least, I think we can go with Arcanine since we have um, three Pokemon that are weak to that. What kind of battle can we expect to see? Begin round two. Ivysaur. All right, let's go for Psychic. Ah, one shot. Down already. Even with the one level disadvantage, we still got the one shot. Alright, who's next? Pidgeotto. We'll go for another Psychic. Okay, they're going for Quick Attack. Oh! Another critical hit will knock out my Kadabra. What's this? Oh, so close. I'm going to go for a continue here, so I'll switch uh, to Raichu. Oh, there's going to be a change of I don't want to risk getting another critical hit against me. Getting me knocked out. What now? That's a good hit. Okay, that's a lot better. How will the and then here we can safely fight? go for seismic toss to get the KO. So he goes for another quick attack. There is a hit. Boom! Yeah, it's a hit. Oh, is it down and out? All right, who's the last one gonna be for the lad? The of for the young lad, Zubat. Oh, it's Zubat. The remaining Pokemon count is three to um, one. The battle has become one side. I think we can just go for Thunder right here. We're faster. Here it comes, Thunder! The Thunder is notorious for missing a lot. What's that? Ah. What so one more critical hit and we're screwed. Neither one is conceding an eight. All right, right, you dig deep, dig deep here, buddy. Oh, ah, I missed again. What this? No. All right, I think. Fireworks are flying in this battle. It'll be best for us to switch out. They strike fighting poses. Here's a Pokemon chance. Oh man, Thunder's got awful accuracy in Gen 1. What now? A decent hit! Ooh, that did 11 damage, so one more is going to take it out. We we'll risk it if we're slower, we're going to lose our continue. A psychic blast. Come on, get that KO. Yes, we got it. That's another continue under our belt. As we advance out of battle two. To be honest, I made that match a little bit tougher than I had to. I just wanted to give another Pokemon other than Kadabra a shot for a change. To kind of mix it up a little bit. As we take on the Swimmer for round three, so five out of six are going to be weak to Raichu. Um, so we're going to open with that one. We can use Gengar because it has Mega Drain and then we can use... We can use Poliwhirl to deal with Nidorino. The upcoming battle looks promising. We're into round three. 
Wow, he opens with Nidorino. Go figure. So I think I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna switch to Poliwhirl. Because I wanna save Raichu for the water types. Oh, and a rough Pokemon change. Oh, it's Poliwhirl! Double kick. Here's the first move! There, it's a hit! Okay, only 12 damage, that's not bad. The crowd's excitement is building over Go for an earthquake. Probably rolls faster. Earthquake. Ooh! Horn attack. What will it do? Yeah, it's a hit! Again, it does 12 damage, so now we're down to half our HP. We'll go for another Earthquake to knock it out. There it goes. Ooh! Oh, Ouch! Oh, it's down. Excellent, excellent, excellent. What Pokemon will be fighting next? I love Poliwhirl. Um, awesome. Oh, it's Slowpoke! All right, so we got Slowpoke. The remaining Pokemon count is three to two. Hmm. This battle is still up in the air. I'm feeling a bit risky, so we're gonna try a Metronome Screech, so that'll lower its defense oh, by two oh, stages. Screech. Its defense is down. Strength. What's that? That's a good hit. Okay, that did 11 damage. The I think we can take two more. So we're going to go for Earthquake. And we have a defense down on Slowpoke. Oh! Here we go. What's this? Yes. Awesome, awesome. We'll go for another Earthquake to knock out Slowpoke. Excellent. Wow, wow Poliwhirl putting in There's work here in round three. In this is some good stuff right here. Oh, Staryu. I think Staryu is going to be Pokemon faster than um, than Raichu, or Raichu, than Poliwhirl, so we're going to switch out. And I want to actually switch to Gengar here. Oh, it's Gengar! I think Gengar has a higher special. And we have Mega Drain, so we can just heal whatever damage we take back up um, and do super effective damage at the same time. We'll go for Confuse Ray. Alright, that slowed me down. So now I'm going to hit it with a Mega Drain. So Mega Drain heals half of the damage that it does to the opponent as Staryu attacks itself. Alright. Awesome. So we're going to go second since we were slowed down by Bubble Beam. Oh! It almost knocked itself out. That'll get us the victory right there. And that's going to wrap up Battle 3. We're on a roll with this one, guys. This is, this is shaping up to be a good-looking team here so far. So I'm super excited. Let's hope we can keep the momentum going throughout the rest of the Pika Cup here. As the Burglar is up next for Battle 4. Oh, he's got five Pokemon that are weak to water. And ground. Um, and one Drowsy, which is Psychic. So, I think what, I, what we'll do is... I want to... So let's start with Poliwhirl. Even though I'm not really pleased with its special. In fact, that's its lowest stat. So it might take us two shots to knock most of these Pokemon out. Uh, we'll go with Arcanine because we can resist two-thirds of their team. 
and we have Dig. And I think last but not least, I think we'll be safe. Um, I want to go for Cadaver here in case he sends out Drowsy. That way we can resist the Psychic. And do some seismic tosses on it if we need to. Nine tails. I can tell you right now we're going to be way slower than that. So we'll get off an earthquake. Body slam. That might paralyze us. Here's the first move. Okay, good, it doesn't. Oh! And... Yeah, I think we can go for Earthquake again. And I just went by Poliwhirl's stats. We got paralyzed right there. Oh, come on, Poliwhirl, shake this off. Yes! Excellent. Savage attack. Super effective. Awesome. Oh, it's down. If he sends Drowsy out, I'm probably going to sacrifice Poliwhirl. Charmeleon. Charmeleon's pretty fast as well. Um, Ugh. Let's switch to Arcanine. Oh, there's going to be a change of Pokemon. Oh, it's Arcana! I have plans to leave Poliwhirl in if he sent Drowsy, Drowsy out. This Charmillion scratches us right there. Hopefully it doesn't have a dig of its own. That would really suck. Okay, we're faster. Leer. Okay, perfect. That'll drop our defense by one stage, but because we're underground, it's gonna fail this time. Ooh! Yes, we get the one shot. Awesome, awesome. Good stuff. There's a difference in the number of reserve Pokemon. Arcanine's huge in this game too. Oh, it's Vulpix. I'm not sure if this Vulpix has dig or not. Um, so I'm gonna get a double team off. Just in case. Ember. Alright, now I'm gonna dig. Battle. Hopefully it doesn't use dig and end up digging behind me and hitting, getting super effective damage on me. Okay, it goes for Ember. Which is gonna miss on that one. This should be a one shot right here. Ooh! No question. Awesome. And that'll wrap up battle. battle four. We're halfway home, guys. Alright. Wow, four continues so far. As we advance towards battle five. And we deal with Mr. Fix. Alright, so he's got three um, electric types. So I'm gonna open with Nitto King. We have to watch out for Porygon because um, it has Psy Beam. I think it has Psy Beam. Uh, we'll go for Arcanine because it also has Dig. And then what I think we can do is we can. We'll go for Kadabra in our third spot. Alright, let's During go! The last half of the tournament, things will get quite hot. Begin round five. Ooh, he sent Kingler out. I don't think I have any super effective moves to deal with it. 
Yeah, that's not good. Because it might just use crab hammer on me. Oh, it's Kadabra! Body slam, that's gonna hurt. Wow! A savage hit! I cannot take another one of those. So I'll go for psychic. Or faster at least. What now? Oh, we got a critical hit. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. Oh, man, I was not expecting that at all. That was huge right there. That was awesome. Kadabra dug deep on that one. Magnemite, which is an electric type. So we can switch to Nidoking since Nidoking is ground type and is going to be immune to electric moves. We needed that knockout um, for Kingler to take place because we were at a huge disadvantage with no super effective moves to use on it. So that one really made me happy. And the rental Niddle King here in Pika Cup has Earthquake, guys. Oh, yes. And Magnemite is only electric in Gen, in Gen 1. It didn't get the steel typing until Gen 2. And so it doesn't have quad weakness to ground type like it does now. But that's okay. As he says in Mankey, we're gonna go for Earthquake once again. We're gonna be faster. Ooh. Yes, we get the one shot. I was not expecting to score a perfect in this round at all because that Kingler is a monster. Um, thankfully we got the critical hit with Psychic and that was what really sealed the deal for us there. Five continues. This is amazing. So we advance to battle six. And he's got a Kadabra of his own. Level 20 uh, Rhyhorn, so um, if he uses the level 20 Rhyhorn, he's going to have to use Wigglytuff and Seedra uh, due to the level restrictions. Your three combined Pokemon cannot total any more than level 50. Um, so that's one caveat to the level restrictions here. As we... Let's see... I think what I like to do here is I'm going to start with Poliwhirl. I'm going to go for Kadabra and I'm going to go for Gengar. Alright, let's go. Field is thinning out. We're into round six. Alright, he goes for Rhyhorn, which is going to be, um, so he's going to have to use Wigglytuff and Seedra, guaranteed, again, due to the level restrictions. we got a four times super effective move against Rhyhorn. Oh! Giving up five levels and we're still going to take it out with one shot. Man, Poliwhirl's been amazing so far in this tournament. Awesome. Wigglytuff. I don't know its defenses too well, um, but I'm going to go for Earthquake. Wigglytuff is relatively slow though. Yeah, it's a tank. Mega Kick, that's going to hurt. Ouch. Alright, this is where I can switch to Gengar, because ghost Pokemon are immune to normal type moves like Mega Kick, so that'll take away a part of this move set right away, which is what we want. Okay, he's going to put up a Reflect. 
He learned his lesson from taking that earthquake. So we're gonna go for Confuser A. Gonna go for Sing and attack itself. And let's go for Nightshade. What now? We're gonna need three Nightshades to take it down. If it doesn't attack itself. It's ah. That's not good. Let's go for Nightshade. Come on, Gengar, wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Ah. It's going for strength, but it's not going to connect since we're a ghost type. Alright, Gengar, wake up. Alright, we woke up. So go for your strength again, it's going to miss. Now the one caveat about sleep in Generation 1, you cannot attack on the same turn that you wake up. Uh, so in Generation 1, once you wake up, that's it. You have to wait till the next turn to attack. And they changed that in Gen 2 to where you can attack on the same turn you wake up. Which is nice. Boom! Oh, we're still gonna need one more Nightshade to take it out. We're gonna fall a point short of taking it out. That's okay. What's this? Come on, Willy Tub, miss again. Yes. Awesome. Go for another Nightshade. We're gonna take Wiggly Tub down. Awesome. Great job. Gengar didn't take so much as a single scratch from Wiggly Tub there. Seedra. And we do have Mega Drain for super effective damage. I don't know Seedra's special stat too well. So it might take us several attempts to knock it out. Okay. It's gonna get off the surf. Ooh, that's not too bad. Thankfully we can heal that back up with one Mega Drain. It did 18, so it gave nine back to us. There, it's, a hit. it's not attacking itself, so I'm a little bit concerned Final with that. Thankfully, we can just keep healing back up. What's this? It shook off its confusion. No longer confused. All right, we should continue off of this as well. One more Mega Drain should just about do it for us. Yeah! And that punches our ticket to the semifinal. Awesome. Here we go. Glass. Ooh. From my experiences, this this lady is pretty freaking difficult. Um, so she's got three Pokemon that are weak to water. So we'll go with what or weak to electric. So we'll go with Raichu. We'll go for Gengar. because uh, it has a Mega Drain. And then I think we can go for, because that Mr. Mime is throwing us off. So I think what we'll do, we have like six continues to get this right. I'm going to go for, 
um, Poliwhirl this time. This is it, the semi-final! No one wants to lose having come this far. Gyarados. Level 20. So we won't be seeing Tentacruel in this match since it's also at level 20. I want to slow this thing down. Okay, so we are faster. Thank you, Thunderwave! Oop, it's paralyzed! Ooh, double edge, that's gonna hurt with a high attack stat. Whoa! Harsh blow! Ooh, man. Come on, right, you hit this. Right from the start, the power difference is obvious. I love this song too. This is one of my favorite songs in the whole game. Here it comes! Thunder! Ah! That's a Crap, dude. That's gonna make it tough. Every time we use Thunder, we miss. Every single time. And that's our first painted Pokemon of the map, of the, of the um, playthrough, too. We'll go for Gengar. Yeah, if you can't hit these big attacks, especially in this round, it's gonna make it really tough. Obviously Pokemon. It'll have to fight through paralysis as well as um, confusion. Ooh, that did a decent chunk right there. Um, we'll go for Metronome. Let's take a shot. She'll switch out. Oh, it's Arcana! Arcanine. Poison Sting. What's that? There's a little damage. We get same type attack bonus off of that, believe it or not, but it's not gonna do too much for us. I wanna try to confuse it. What that? Oh yes! Okay. The crowd's excitement is building over this hot battle. Um. Just in case it goes for Dig again, I'm gonna switch to Poliwhirl. Oh, there's going to be a change of Pokemon. Oh, it's Poliwhirl. She might switch back to Gyarados. I'm gonna try to surprise her with an Earthquake. Uh, and unfortunately, Earthquake doesn't hit Pokemon that are underground in Gen 1. But it'll at least have to come back up. Ooh, it did half my health. It fought it fought off two turns of potential confusion to get that off. Yes! Awesome. Excellent. We're waiting for the next Pokemon. We're still kinda in trouble here. Here's a Pokemon evenly matched at two Pokemon aside. Neither Pokemon is backing down. So she might go for double edge again, so we're gonna switch back to Gengar. I'm shaking a little bit. I'm a little bit nervous about this. That's gonna go right through our ghost Pokemon. What's this? Awesome. Oh the attack missed! We're gonna go for Confuse Ray again. Yes. Uh -oh, it's now we could go for Mega Drain, but because it's also a flying type as well as a water type, it's not going to do as much for us. So I think we're better off uh, with two Nightshades. 
But actually, we're gonna need three. That sucks. Oh, she attacks herself again. Oh, wow. Wow, that's crazy. Alright, let's go for Nightshade again. Awesome. Wow, that was that's crazy if we can pull this off. Mr. Oh, Mime. Mr. Mime. <laughs> oh man, we're kinda the in trouble. Because it has psychic. The battle continues. Um not a lot of HP, but it's got psychic. I'm pretty sure. Yes. It doesn't have a high attack stat, so it didn't do too much to itself. But let's go for Nightshade. What's this? There, it's a hit. Ooh, we're gonna need two more of those. It shook off in Ah, one turn, you gotta be kidding me. Ooh, seven HP. We could still lose this. What's that? It's confused. Uh oh, it's confused. Oh my goodness, we're gonna win. That took it all the way down to 15 HP, and we can use Nightshade to finish it off. Oh my goodness. This is crazy. This come from behind victory is crazy. Wow, Gengar, you rock. And there goes the battle. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable comeback right there. Amazing. Oh, man. This is going to be a fun uh, recording to watch back, for sure, as we advance to the final round of the Pika Cup for round one. Got the Fisher. No level 20s, but that Radicate and that Dragonair are gonna be um, a force to be reckoned with. We, the only fighting move we have is Double Kick for Nitto King. We don't have any Ice moves to deal with Dragonair, unfortunately. This one's gonna be tough. Um, so I think what we'll do is we'll send in Raichu because I want to slow some stuff down. Uh, we'll go for Gengar. And then last but not least, ooh, I don't like Nitto King in this match, so I think we'll go for Kadabra. This is it, the final battle. Who will bask in the glory of the championship? Slowbro. It's got high special as well. We'll go for Thunder. Finally, we hit Thunder. Oh, 2 HP. Ah. Savage attack. Ah. Okay, we we we're still in this. That critical is gonna probably make a big difference, though. Seismic toss. We can take out Slow Bro. Wow. We're waiting for the next Pokemon. I was hoping for a critical hit that would have knocked Slowbro out with one hit. Dragonair. It has to make up Level 18. I want to slow this thing down the with Thunder Wave. Are entirely different types. So we'll start with that. Awesome, we're faster even without Thunder Wave. You, Thunder Wave. Oof, it's paralyzed. This one's going to be tricky. Dragon Rage. Dragon Rage. That's going to knock us out. It does a guaranteed 40, 40 ah, damage. What will the next Pokemon be? Yeah, Dragon Rage is going to be a problem. So I think I'm going to put in Gengar. Oh, it's Gengar! How will the type difference? We're going to go for Confuse Ray. Confuse Ray. 
Yes. We've been getting really lucky with confusion here in this tournament. This Dragon Rage will two shot everything in Pika Cup. We can at least um, set up Cadabra. What's this? A decent hit. It shook off so Dragon Rage is going to take Gengar down. There it goes. Gengar did well. That's a good hit. And it's down. We at least got Dragonair to attack itself once. Um, and that There's made a huge difference. Because um, if it had used Dragon Rage oh, it's every single time, then um, we probably would have had a tougher time. It's one Pokemon against two now. Um, let's go the for Seismic Toss. Since its remaining HP is below my level. Good so that'll take Dragonair down. Oh, is it down and out? Ooh, come on, come on, Kadabra. You got this. You got it. We can still pull this one off. Clefable. If we can get a special drop or two, that'll be really helpful. Ooh, we're going to need two more of those. Hyper Beam. Ooh, that's going to... Oh, it missed! Oh, he's gonna have to recharge. Oh my goodness, we're gonna win. What'll it do? That'll lower the special. He's gonna have to recharge. Oh yes, we're gonna pull this one off, guys. One more psychic. We'll do it. Yes, we only had one fainted Pokemon throughout this whole tournament. Oh man. No wait, do we have two? I think we may have had two. Three. Yeah, my calculations were wrong. So Raichu had fainted twice and Gengar once. Uh, but no matter, we got through it. We got through the Pika Cup, guys. Awesome, awesome. Wow, that was really exciting, especially that comeback against the last in the semifinal. Um, absolutely amazing. Um, and then being able to hit Slowbro with Thunder was amazing. Being able to slow down and confuse Dragonair and have it attack itself once was great. So many keys to victory here in the Pika Cup, so hopefully you all enjoyed this one. As we get a look at that beautiful, beautiful trophy right there. We go back to the stadium. So there we go guys, that's our first trophy of the brand new Pokemon Stadium Let's Play. Um, let me know what you guys think of this in the comments below, give me whatever feedback you guys have to make the let's play a little bit more interesting hopefully you guys did find this interesting um, so my twitter handle is at zori gaming and i'll be sure to leave a link to that in the description below the video um, at z-o-r-r-i-e-g-a-m-i-n-g if you want to follow me there um, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel um, and share this video if you guys want to as it'll help other people find my content and uh, last thing I want to say to wrap this up is um, thank you all for watching um, thank you all very much for watching uh, I'm just kind of living a dream here of being able to do what I love play video games and and to be able to share that with you guys um, 
So I definitely look forward to um, jump starting the channel and kind of seeing what the overall potential of that could be moving forward. Um, I'm thinking before we go, we're going to take a look at the Petite Cup and we're going to dive deep into that in the next episode. But until then, party people, this is your host, Zori, signing out. You guys take care, and we'll see you next time. Have a great day.